So every time you come for a treatment, like Stephen's going to experience now, I will be, I will be performing a skin analysis. So as you can see, I've got my little headset on and it's got a magnifying lens. That gives me a great opportunity to look really close at Stephen's skin or your skin when you come in for a treatment. So methodically, I'll be working around Stephen's skin and I will be giving feedback on what I can see. That gives me more information as a professional skin therapist to what I will physically see on the skin and how I can treat Stephen's skin or your skin when you're coming for treatment. But it also gives you as a client lots of information on what is happening on your skin, but all over your skin. Well, so I'm just gonna pop my magnifying lenses down and start to work over Stephen's skin. So Stephen's main skin concern is aging. So across the forehead there, we can see that we've got some expression lines. So the chemical peel will definitely have to start to resurface this uh, area of the skin. So we can have to eliminate dead skin cells. We can eliminate any dull pigmentated cells and we can start to stimulate collagen and reduce these uh, expression lines across the forehead area. So Stephen hasn't had a treatment in a little while. So we can see we've got some dehydration across the forehead. So that literally means that Stephen's skin is lacking in moisture. So your chemical peel will definitely have to replenish moisture in the forehead area, but actually looking really nice and clear. So moving on to the ears, we can see, well, I can see that we've got some pigmentation on the ears. So that's dark pigmentated cells. So generally we will see um, pigmentation on ears. So I'd always say, make sure that you're popping your sun protection creams across the ears there. Moving along the cheek area, we can see we've got some redness across the cheeks. Generally, I would see that by after applying that solution that I've applied to Stephen's skin. But I can also see that we've got some compromised areas here. So it could be due to lockdown, the skin has become a little bit more dehydrated and sensitized. So we can really have to reinforce the area. Nice and clear across the nose there. And then mirroring the other side across the cheeks, we've got some redness and some dehydration. So the chemical peel will definitely help to um, restore that barrier function. So helping to protect and reduce the redness, but increase hydration on the skin. And then we've got some pigmentation on the ears as well. So home care, we really need to be looking at protecting those ears with UV protector. Moving around the jawline, so really nice and clear around this jawline area. A lot of dehydration on the neck area. And nice and clear across this side of the jawline as well. And then just some dehydration on the lower half of the neck there. So all in all, not had a treatment in a while, potentially some stressed lockdown skin. So the chemical peel today will help to restore Stephen's hydration. It will help to reinforce the barrier function so we can help to reduce the redness across the top half of the skin. And your chemical peels will help to stimulate collagen within the skin so we can really help to reduce these first signs of aging that Stephen is concerned with on the forehead and more so around the eyes. So every time you come in for treatment, you would receive a thorough skin analysis.